In the last exercise, we have tried some way in order to use, for example, some number from the chop operation in order to control the animation in the physical aspect like the translation and rotation. So today we explore a little bit more on the other use of those chop operation to play with the animated movement. So we'll introduce the use of one more chop. The channel operator is the wave. So the wave is actually kind of waveform. You can define, for example, like a sine wave, a triangle rays, or different kind of waveform in order to create the number you would like to animate the image or the model. So by default, the wave comes with the range of again minus one to one and if you would like to for example make use of it in rotation for example you can for example use the math again in order to change the range from the original minus one to positive one to another range like 0 to 360, for example, for the control of the rotation. And you can also change the period, that is the frequency of the waveform by, for example, increasing the number to make a slow animation of the graphics. So in this case, if you would like to make use of the wave to control, say, the rotation in the y direction, you can make use of this one. And the step is just the same as the last one we have implemented. We select the wheel active and then pick up the channel name, the CHAN1 in this case, and drag it to the rotation in the y axis and export the chop so it gives you the number the moving number around here you can also control the transform order in the in the geometry over here for example if in the default one you have the scale and then rotate and then translate so that means the rotation will come first and then the translation a little bit later. So the rotation is actually along the, the object's axis in this case. And if you would like to, for example, first do the translation and then the rotation, you can select like this one. So we have the scale first and then translate and then rotate. So that means in this case, the translate in the x-axis and the y-axis will perform first and I can, for example, reset the y-axis, you can have a look. And if I translate it further away from along the x-axis, you can easily see the graphical effect over here from the output window. Okay. So the next step I would like to do, again, I make use of another wave over here. And again, a mesh function. So in this case, I also slow down a little bit of the change by changing the period and for the mass over here so I make use of the range the original from minus 1 to positive 1 and then target to have a range like from minus 2 to positive 2 so I will make use of this one in order to change for example like the the vertical movement of the graphics that is in the y-axis of the translation. So I s again select this one 
and change the we will add tip select the channel one over here drag to the translate in the y axis export and then I play back to have a look so you can see in the output window so there's an up and down movement together with the rotation of the graphics so those are the effects of these two wave objects so the wave objects is more or less like an oscillation or like a pendulum swinging back and forth for this one and the next one I would like to do is an interactive process so I use the mouse objects so the mouse object actually come with two number each one of them the TX represent the horizontal movement of your mouse so you can have a look the TY is the vertical movement and you can either pick the TX or TY as a way to control for example another transformation of your graphics so again the, op the operation is the same we will make use of the math to do the conversion like I connect this one and different from the wave the wave has only one channel the channel 1 over here for the mouse it had two channels one for the X and one for the Y so it doesn't matter whether you use the X and Y for your control so for this example I make use of like the the X movement so for the from range is again minus 1 to positive 1 and for the to range if I for example target to make use of it to control like the size of your graphics I'll say for example the smallest one is 01 and the biggest one will be like 2.1 in a range like this one so I will make use of the movement in the x axis the smallest one will be 0.1 when I move towards the right hand side it's close to the 2.1 over here and then I'll select back the geometry over here and export the channel like the TX over here to the use of the scale so for the scale it come with two options one is the individual X Y and Z scale and the other is the uniform scale which means all together control the X Y and Z proportion so I make use of the uniform scale over here to export this one and then I save the project and then we can have a look of the effect so if I move my mouse towards the left hand side so you can see the decrease in size of your graphics and if I move back to the right hand side you see the change in the size so it's a combination of automatic movement like the animation and interactive movement by using your mouse so to have a better effect you can also make use of the perform window over here and you can see without the other graphical editing element you can see the operation to go back you press the escape so this is the operation we have done